Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the experience sharing channel of DV Group. Today, we will share with you the issue, why is it necessary to blow down the boiler and how should it be properly done? Let's answer the first question, why is it necessary to blow down the boiler? As you may know, a boiler is a sealed device containing water. It receives heat from the fuel combustion process, causing the water to heat up to boiling temperature and evaporate into steam. During the evaporation process, sediment components will remain in the boiler and settle at the bottom. It's necessary to remove the sediment to prevent it from adhering to the heat exchange surfaces, affecting the boiler's efficiency. To learn more about the harm of sediment in the boiler, please watch our experience sharing video why water treatment for the boiler is necessary on DV Group's channel. The only solution to remove the sediment is to perform frequent boiler blowdowns. We will continue to find the answer to the second question, how should the boiler blowdown be properly done? This is a boiler product designed, manufactured, installed, and transferred by DV Boiler, a brand of DV Group. This boiler has a capacity of 20 tons of steam per hour. It is a fluidized bed boiler using biomass. First, let's understand the blowdown process. This is the main blowdown pipe of the boiler, located at the bottom of the boiler body or the bottom of the combustion chamber tubes. It is placed where sediment can accumulate. The blowdown pipe typically includes two types of valves. The first valve is a high pressure resistant stop valve, often called a globe valve. It requires several turns to fully close or open. The second is the blowdown valve, often called a ball valve or a special type of valve used for blowdown. The characteristic of this valve is that it can be fully opened or closed very quickly. With this valve, a 90 degree turn will completely seal or open it. When performing a blowdown, we should follow this procedure. Step 1. Open the blowdown valve fully and quickly. Step 2. Slowly open the stop valve to let the hot water flow gradually and warm up the pipe. We should not open the stop valve quickly because the boiler is under pressure, and doing so could cause the pipe to heat up suddenly and possibly break. It's best to open it by one to two turns and listen for the sound of water hissing. Step 3. Wait for about 15 to 30 seconds for the pipe to warm up, then close the stop valve. Step 4. After the stop valve is closed, close the blowdown valve quickly. Step 5. Open the stop valve fully. Step 6. Perform rapid opening and closing of the blowdown valve in rhythm. Maintain each cycle of opening and closing the blowdown valve from 3 seconds to 5 seconds. This rhythmic opening and closing will help break up and remove the sediment. We will maintain from 3 to 5 cycles or up to 7 cycles or more, depending on the condition of the boiler water. The question is, how often should we blow down and how many cycles per blowdown are appropriate? This is a water quality testing device to decide how the blowdown should be properly done. This device needs to be calibrated once a week and should measure water at temperatures below 30 degrees. For standard saturated steam industrial boilers, these two devices are basically sufficient. For boilers using superheated steam for power generation or high pressure, we need to measure all indices according to regulations. This device is used to measure the pH level. And this one measures the TDS total dissolved solids. And this is the standard water treatment quality table for boilers. Here, DV Group is referring to boilers using saturated steam, so there are two main indices we need to pay attention to, pH level and TDS. The pH level indicates the acidity or alkalinity of the water. TDS measures the amount of dissolved solids in the water, indicating the amount of sediment flushed out. 
Here, we will measure the water indices from the blowdown. If the pH level is not within the allowed range of 10 to 12, we need to adjust the chemical dosing pump to ensure the boiler water's pH level is always within the acceptable range. The TDS level in the boiler must always be kept below 3000 ppm, therefore, the amount of blowdown depends on this TDS level. If TDS is below 3000 ppm, our blowdown is appropriate. If TDS is above 3000 ppm, we need to increase the blowdown frequency or the number of cycles per blowdown. TDS 3000 ppm according to the standard is equivalent to 3 ppm in this measuring device. The frequency or number of blowdown cycles depends on the steam usage demand of the plant. We should only perform blowdowns when the boiler is running at low load to ensure that blowdown does not affect steam supply for production. Note, if the TDS level is too low, we must reduce the frequency of blowdowns. Because the more blowdowns performed, the more hot water is lost to the environment, leading to increased fuel consumption for the boiler. Now, let's perform water quality testing to evaluate the blowdown, shall we? We will take a sample of the boiler's blowdown water and wait for it to cool down below 30 degrees. We can fan it to cool it down faster if desired. We will pour the water into two sample bottles for testing. But be careful not to fill the water above 3 cm, as it may damage the measuring device. Then we will insert the device for measurement, and here are the indices shown on the measuring devices. Please note, this device measures the pH level, here, the pH is 10.1, meets requirements. If the pH level does not meet the requirements, we must adjust the amount of chemical dosed into the boiler to reach the standard. This is the TDS level, here, the TDS is 3.68, greater than does not meet requirements, therefore, we need to increase the boiler blowdown. Since this is a newly operated boiler, the TDS level is still high, we need to change the boiler water several times more and increase the blowdown, then the TDS level will gradually meet the appropriate index. If we maintain the pH and TDS levels within the allowed range and check them daily, we guarantee that your boiler will be very clean, free from corrosion, high heat exchange efficiency, and long lifespan. This is the experience sharing from DV Group, hoping this sharing will be helpful for those who are operating boilers. If there is anything inappropriate or questions, DV Group looks forward to receiving positive feedback from you. Thank you for your attention. DV Group, striving to bring prosperity to our partners.